The northern region of Moldavia, which borders on the Ukraine, is called Bukovina. Due to the charming character of the landscape and the rustic villages, with many a wooden house, the Romanians like to call the region Dulce Bukovina, soft or sweet Bukovina. This is where, in the 15th and 16th centuries, the famous painted convents were built which bear the mark of the legendary Prince Stephen the Great. Convents look like medieval fortified fortresses. The founder had the coat of arms of Moldavia, the aurochs, clearly sculpted on the entrance gates. As is customary for Romanian convents, the church or Catholicon is in the center of the inner court. The churches of northern Moldavia are a unique phenomena in 15th and 16th century European art. These churches, painted both inside and out, have a unique place among Byzantine art as well. They're only found in Moldavia and are registered as protected monuments with UNESCO. The paintings contain familiar themes from Byzantine iconography, such as the church hierarchy, the Judgment Day and the Tree of Jesse. The frescoes are amazingly well preserved except on the northern side where they're exposed to the ravages of the wind. Vegetable and mineral dyes were used for the paintings with a dominant color selected for each church. Here, people speak of the green of Sucevitsa. The frescoes were designed to be a biblical cartoon, as it were, in a time when Old Slavonic, the original liturgical language, was no longer understood. The most important holiday of the year is Easter. There's not a single Romanian family, religious or non-believer, city dweller or country folk, that escapes the Easter spirit and celebration. Romanians hold their convents in honor as they are the keepers of the wealth of ancient customs. The sisters of Sucevitsa decorate Easter eggs with folkloristic designs which are blessed in church on Easter Saturday. The sale of these eggs, some of which are veritable gems of folk art, are a source of income for the convent. Thank you.
Ma in casa ero mica, non si muove. Alla fumata. Non ci fu mossa la prima volta in casa Veronica. Andrea, dai, ci dico che mi riesce a prendere. The Church of the Voronets Convent, founded by Stephen the Great, is sometimes referred to as the Sistine Chapel of the East. The most impressive fresco scene is the Last Judgment, painted on the western wall. The artwork cannot be viewed separately from the time of its creation because among the doomed sinners were many Turks who posed a persistent threat to Moldavia. upper register of this gigantic last judgment, God the Father sits on high. On either side, angels unfurl the veil of time, symbolized by the zodiac. This scene represents the end of the world. Blue is the dominant color of the frescoes of Voronets, produced with lapis lazuli powder. Voronets blue is a household term in Romanian. Church day is punctuated by the tintinabulation of the church bells or hammer clangs on the twaka. Pictura aceasta așa, cu culoarea dominantă albastru, albastru de voroneț, unic în lume. Aici este reprezentată genealogia Mântuitorului Iisus Hristos. Și acum să urmărim coloana aceea pe verticală. For a convent as famous as Voronets, tourism is an important source of income. Absita laterală, pe primele două rânduri, este ierarhia cerească, îngerii și serafimii. Îi vedeți în ochnițele acelea rotunde și alungite. The sale of icons helps the convent community support itself. Consequently, the art of icons is flourishing anew at Voronets convent. The nuns are faithful to the classic style of Byzantine iconography. 
The icon is not an idol or portrait, but a symbol of the presence of Christ, Mary and the Holy Spirit. The convent of Moldovica was founded in the early 16th century with its embrasures, watchtowers and encircling walls that are one meter twenty thick the convent resembles a fortified fortress it's located on the site of an older wooden convent probably a key surveillance post at the border between Transylvania and Moldavia I decided to enter the convent when I was 17. When I left home, my parents had no idea what I was planning. After one day away from home, I thought, what is God's will? Does he want me to go to Agapia or to Moldovica? I left it up to transport and God's will. I was hitchhiking. The first car that stopped was going to Moldovica. So it was God's will that I should come to this convent. I like the communal life. We do everything together, go to church together, pray together, eat together. This secluded life is still to my liking. The siege of Constantinople by Persians and Avars in 626 is illustrated in a lively exterior fresco. Tradition holds that the city was protected miraculously by the Holy Virgin. This extremely elegant church is also decorated with frescoes from top to bottom on the outside and inside. They depict biblical stories and important saints from Byzantine religious doctrine. is a lot harder in the summer because so many people come here so many tourists visit the convent we spend a lot less time together in the summer just the holidays and the afternoons at work the new nuns take turns doing everything they do the breviary every other week take turns in the kitchen take turns taking care of the animals and working in the fields in the winter, we do more special activities. I started a workshop where we make tapestries and the nuns are learning to paint eggs and they do beadwork and sewing. They do it all so we have a bare minimum of what we need in the convent. We sit together at the table, just like a normal family. Everything's the same as a normal family. 
we do everything together. For instance, we eat together, and during the midday meal we study the lives of the saints, and at the evening meal God's word is, is read aloud. These days, it's the vocation of the Staretza to instruct young people in religious ways. Otherwise, they wouldn't receive this instruction. There are a lot of young people who want to enter the religious order. We can't take all of them in, but it is our calling to care for their religious life, their spiritual life. Spiritual life is very special to us, and we never stray from the dogma of the church. There are 32 of us at this convent, and a priest who says mass. Решить, ну? Не патрон.
The previous residence of the prince is located behind the church. It now houses a small museum of intricately embroidered vestments, books and ritual objects. The delicately sculptured royal throne of the founder of the convent is also kept here. Some manuscripts are written in Old Slavonic, the original liturgical language. Here one can also see original icons from the church's restored iconostasis. Monasteries and convents are often the custodians of the national patrimony. We do lead a difficult life, it's true. We have problems such as administrative difficulties, which are more of a problem today. We have concerns with stocking, with running things properly, farming the fields, ploughing, all matters that have to be handled properly for our welfare. The farm does supply everything we need. We have everything we need at the farm, poultry, cattle, a horse, pigs, everything. And there's a sister economist who handles the administration problem. But I have to see to it that each day everything we need is here. Then there are problems in the office and with the sisters. I spend one or two hours almost every day solving these problems.